this. Okay. So we're in the ship. Gotta close the door. Oh ho ho! Here we go! Oh yes! Bye home! I feel so scared, I'm just floating in space. Alright, what's going on everybody? Crash here and welcome back to another Alright, what's going on everybody? Crash here and welcome back to a little bit of Astroneer. So, I can't remember where we left off last time. Um, I remember some things, but I did go play around for a while by myself. And <laughs> what happened was I, uh, I, oh, no spoilers. Um, I took a truck out, <clears throat> and I believe it had, um, if I remember correctly, it had a wind turbine like this one, and a solar panel, and a small uh, storage area. So I found out you can make these bigger storage things, which is pretty cool. Um, and then I also found out that you can do this. I'll show you. you grab these smaller storage things and stick them to the bigger storage things and then you have even more storage so now we have one two three four five six seven eight slots instead of the two and then I can stick another storage thing right there and right next to it and go out and collect a bunch of stuff um, so I ended up doing that so like this for example so I ended up doing that and um, I drove off and I, uh, I lost my truck. <laughs> I literally drove around the planet for like two hours, just driving around, looking for the stupid, that thing, the stupid home beacon. And I tell you what, it is super hard to find. I am not happy about it. I had a whole bunch of rare resources on the truck when it happened. And uh, yeah, it was a little bit, a little bit flustered to say the least, that that happened. Um, but it's okay, so I went back and I came back to base, I just killed myself, came back to base, and I started doing some stuff again. And then I found out that you can do this. What's this, hold on. Oh, aluminum, what are you doing on the ground? I Obviously I've been smelting a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I found out we can make, check it out, we can make a spaceship. And we can add all kinds of stuff to it. Um, oh, I guess just a seat at the moment is all we can add to it. But for this, we need the, I think it's called hydrazine or whatever. Um, where, and I have one around here somewhere. Here it is. Hydrazine, yep, I was right. So you take the hydrazine, stick it on the side of this bad boy. This just took compound, by the way, to make, I think, if I remember correctly. And it sucks it up. <laughs> so, what we can do is we can either go and try to get a bunch of uh, this hydrazine, or we can build our base farther out, which is what I'll show you. Right here. Oh, never mind. First, you gotta click this, then you gotta click the resin. Bam! Making a bigger base. And then we, woo, whoa. If we go like this, we can look over here and go, oop, resin, oop, resin. And that'll make even another big base thing. Um, so that's pretty sweet. Um, and then you go like this, fuel condenser. So we need two coppers, du -du -du, which we definitely have. We have so much copper, it's absolutely insane. Whenever it has power, which is getting power right now from, I think, the wind turbine that's on the truck? Or it was. I'm not sure, I'm not sure where it's getting power from. If we come over here and we take the wind turbine and we stick it, because it's windy right now, I don't know if you can tell, on here, come on, stick it. There we go, that'll give us some power. Once this is fully powered up, we can make some more fuel for our spaceship and then once we have a bunch of fuel in our spaceship we can actually fly to other planets which I'm super stoked about um, eventually you can make a habitat another habitat and then you can 
make another base at other planets, but I'm super stoked about just flying to the other planets, period. Let's make this fuel real quick. Right here. So you just do this, and then blam! It just makes fuel for you. For your spaceship. It just makes it. Using the power. It takes power and makes fuel. How freaking sweet is that? Come on. And then we just take that and go blam! And that fills up our spaceship! Not very much, though. It takes a while to fill up the spaceship. Like, I've put four on there, I think. <laughs> and let's take this. Come on, I want to put it on here. Oh, heck yes! So now if we find anything cool at another planet, we can store it. We're like, oh, we need coal. Look at all this coal I have. And I haven't found a single um, coal thing. All I've been doing is just running right over here. I'll show you. Hopefully I can show you. Oh yeah, like this. And I just grab these. Blam. Done. <laughs> and they're everywhere. <laughs> and I would say 50% of the time there's coal in these. Um, which is pretty great, to tell you the truth. Like, we'll, we'll do this one just for fun. Hopefully there's coal in it. That would, how cool would that be? Probably doubtful, because I'm filming right now. Oh, yeah. So, see, look. This one had aluminum in it. So, I mean, sometimes it has aluminum. Sometimes it has copper. Sometimes it has coal. And so, yeah. I've been finding coal like that, like a madman. So, that's pretty sweet. And so, we can use this. Woo! Oh, first let's make some more fuel, and then we'll, I'll show you guys how the generator works. Look how fast. How freaking sweet. Look how fast is that. That is. That is so cool. Like, it works great. Finding the coal is a hard t has a hard time doing that, but other than that, it works great. Freaking sweet. Um, from what I can tell, these storages don't blow away in, stands in sandstorms, so that's good. Um, but look. I mean, looking at the coal right now, I can't tell if it's still sucking it in. I think it just constantly sucks it up. Yeah, see, a piece just came off. It constantly uses the coal to generate power. Um, and it generates power like a madman. But it, the problem is that it just constantly uses the coal. And you can't take it off. You can't take the coal off. You can take the generator off, but it's still sucking power. And you can't take you can't take the coal off. Which, you know, that's, that's cool, I guess. It's fine. Life goes on. Um, so we can get hydrazine like we're doing right now. Or another way to get hydrazine is by going in the cave and sucking it up with our with our backpack. We'll stick this sucker on here. We're gonna go. I know you guys have been excited. You're waiting for us to fly. Okay, how do we do this? Okay, so we're in the ship. Gotta close the door. Oh ho ho! Here we go. Oh yes! Bye home! I feel so scared. I'm just floating in space. Can we get... Oh, look at that. So cool. Oh, there's my truck. Oh, no way. I didn't know if it would tell me or not. Oh, that is... I'm so mad now. I literally drove all the way across the stinking planet to be that close. Oh, no, no, no. I think that's my truck there. There it is. See how far away it is from base? There's the <laughs> there's the truck. And our base is like way over there so I guess eventually we could land near it take all the stuff off the truck um, and then fly off again so that'll be handy but right now what I want to do is click this button and that brings us out here see look there's our two trucks we lost <laughs> oh such an idiot uh, okay and then let's go to our moon it sounds like such a great idea I really have been wanting to go to the moon this whole entire stinking time. Whoa, careful there, spaceship. You're driving like a mad out of hell. Like a madman. Now, where? I think we get to pick places to land on this bad boy, too. Oh, heck yes. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Look at that hole. Jesus. Oh, here we go. Freaking sweet. Alright, we have officially landed on another planet, you guys. 
Are you scared? I'm scared. I didn't bring tethers. Ah! Idiot. Oh wow, look at- Whoa! It's almost like nauseating how fast this thing is spinning. Holy mackerel. Please be some compound somewhere close by. Nope, no compound. But there is some aluminum right over here. Bloop, 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 bloop. Might as well grab that while we're here. Barren as all get out. Wow, it uses a lot of fuel to do this. We might have enough just to go to one more planet and then call it a quits today. And we're going to go like this. Okay, so here's the other thing. See this white ring? That is how far we can fly. And so if the planet isn't in the white ring, then you can't fly to it. So it becomes kind of interesting after a while um, in that sense. Um, so like we're on the moon of this planet, so we're safe. You can jump back and forth between these two because they will always be within orbit of each other. But once one of these comes into our orbit and I jump onto it, then I could be in trouble for trying to get back to this one. So you kind of have to be careful make sure you have a lot of uh, fuel. So we're going to wait for this red planet to come into to orbit here and then we're going to jump on that sucker and go check it out. Definitely have to go home. I mean, that's pretty crazy how fast you lose your, uh, your fuel. I didn't think that would happen. Whoa. Did we make a hole in the rock by landing? Oh, what's that? I think that's something we need. Let's go get it. Except for there's like a, a sandstorm going on. Is there? It's like a constant sandstorm on this level. I really hope not. We're going for it, guys. Ah! Please don't. Do oh, it's titanium. And we can't get it. Why can't we get it? I can't get any of it. Ah, you know what? I bet you need to get that. I bet you need the, uh, oh, please don't die. No! Oh, what happens now? Oh, no. Oh, okay, we, we do go back here. Um, I wonder if the, if this is just a sandstorm planet. Um, anyways, to get that titanium, I'm pretty sure you need, um, uh, the drill, which you hook up to the tr to the crane, and you hook the crane up to the truck. So that'll be an interesting little thing to check out one of these days. So pretty much, in other words, you have to move here. You have to put a habitat down. You have to put resin on that. You have to build that up. Then you have to make that to where you can make a truck. And then you have to take build the truck and then build the drill, and take that drill and and drill yourself some. Uh, some whatever that is over there titanium so that's fun uh, let's just double check I guess make sure we can't actually harvest this or at least a little bit of it oh there's compound ah Jesus okay so we just got out of the sandstorm and now there's these stupid balls flying around again Okay, so this planet seems like it's pretty chaotic. We're gonna come over here. Come on. I can't get any of it. None. It's like, nope. You suck. It's so dangerous! Everything's so dangerous on this planet. I feel like I'm gonna die any second. Oh, there's more cool stuff over here. We're finding all kinds of new stuff. Hopefully we don't need the truck for all this junk. Those look deadly. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna need the truck for this too. Oh no, maybe. What is this we're picking up? Ah! Please don't hit me, ball. Please don't hit me, ball. Oh, okay, now we got balls coming at us. And we got, oh, this is lithium. We're picking it up too. Look, we're getting some on the sides here. We're picking it up on the sides. Holy macaronis. Okay, so there is a little bit of lithium that you can pick up. Um, 
but it looks like most of it you have to use the drill again. So that's sucky. If I launch, okay, so my tethers are still there. But how do I remember that I was, have been in that area? Will it show me that my tethers are there on this thing? Nope, doesn't look like it. <laughs> Dang it. So, potentially just wasted a bunch of tethers. Anyways, I want to go back home. No! No! I want to go home. That's great. So now, oh, it's called Arid. So that makes more sense now because, I mean, it kind of was a big pain in the butt to uh, do anything there. <laughs> it was pretty arid and pretty deserty, and yeah, we died pretty quick. Um, but I think once you figured it out, you could you could do some stuff on that planet too. But this whole video was just mostly about me flying to other planets and seeing what it's like. If you guys liked it. Don't forget to smash the like button, hit subscribe if you're not already, and as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Show you what this gel this pufferfish does. I was swimming around and I found one. But check it out. Here we go. Pufferfish! <laughs> That's the coolest thing. It's it's really OP to be honest with you.